Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic and Liz with Liz for a Day and I got together for this month and decided to do a collab of our Halloween setups. Both of us are using the same black recollections, Michael's Recollections planner and we're also using the same paper pad which is this Haunted Hollow pad by American Crafts. So if you'd like to see what I came up with for my setup in this personal size planner, stay tuned. out the binder some of this that you see all around was in the binder from previous times that I've used it but the majority of this is new stuff and so I just wanted to show you how I'm gonna go about setting this up these tool clips were made from a skirt that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just cut it apart and used the tool to make planner clips so I'll be using those in 
the planner. These are from last year. I'm not sure where I got these, but they will be going in as well. There, at the beginning of this video, you saw how I made this spider clip. This is from a spider that was in a bunch of black flowers from Dollar Tree. And he just fell off. This was a pathetic little bow <laughs> that I made out of some, it's like a plasticky ribbon. I don't know what you call this kind of ribbon, but that I made out of that. This is, um, these are some planner clips from Michaels when they had the emoji stuff out. I think this was from last year. One of my planner friends sent me these. And this is a bow that I purchased from an Etsy shop last year again I have no idea what shop it's from and as you can see it's pretty flat because it's been in the planner this little pocket is let me take these off so you can see this little pocket that you saw me put together at the beginning of the video is a library pocket and there's a template for this pocket on my website at scrapcraftastic.com and it also has uh, library cards that go in the pockets as well. I did not do those for this. I was hoping that this would be narrow enough to fit on a page, but it, do, it would interfere with the hole punch. Um, I could have made my pages a little wider, but I just went with the standard size and left it as is. So, and also, I'm trying to go through everything I have here. These little page flags that I will probably never use. I thought I would never use them. I I got them on a whim. These are in the dollar section or dollar fifty section at Michaels uh, from last year or the year before. I don't really use page flags. I just thought these were really beautiful, and but they don't stick well at all either. But you'll see how I kind of use them in my setup. This is a Project Lifestyle card. Um, oh, I have ink on my hands. Sorry. <laughs> this is a Project Lifestyle card from last year that I had in here. More page flags that I don't use. These are from the Target Dollar Spot. This is just a die cut that I made for myself. And these are sticky notes that were in here. Okay, and this is a pouch. That's the Recollections pouch. I got this from last year also. This is a glitter dashboard that I just made last year for whatever reason. Just, I guess, testing it out. And so I'm going to keep this. And actually, I'm going to use this in the back. And hopefully that will be protection for whatever goes in the back of the book. This is an uh, insert from another notebook, another binder. And as you can see, the paper curled because it was stuck underneath the rings so I'm using this and hopefully that will prevent that little wear and tear on the paper on the outside also this will be my front dashboard I had to do a little ode to Twilight this is from um, the immortal paper pack for from die cuts with a view and this is from that same paper pack that I've done most everything else. So, yeah, I wanted this to be my dashboard. And even though there's nothing else really red in here, I'm going to go with that. Then, I cut out all of these tabs from, again, a file that's available at my on my website at scrapcraftastic.com. This is just a die cut that I laminated and put a little... Um, removable tape on the back dry tape and just stuck it on there so this is a set of five inserts I they're all double sided and I went and inked the edges just to give it that more grungy old feeling and let's put these in this one I just played around with adding one of the Target dollar spot pockets which are these I just kind of wanted to check the size to make sure that they would work and not interfere with the holes and because of the little extra edge that the laminate gives the tab divider it allows for me to put the pocket on so 
I didn't add little cards or decoration on my tab dividers. I thought that I would come back and add my little decor in the pockets and that way this isn't too overly Halloween It's more of a grunge um, gothic feeling look except for a few of the orange pages so I'm thinking I can use this whenever I feel not necessarily for Halloween it's not too over the top Halloween so anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and add these in then I made these folders, which I haven't punched yet. Well, this folder, this is another dashboard. Um, it has a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side. I used the papers and just cut a pocket, glued it a little at the bottom. Same on this side. I added a piece of one of the page flags just to give it a little oomph. And so this is ready to go in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch my holes for this. So we got that one in and this is another dashboard. Again, I inked all the edges. I used one of the little page flags on either side just to give it a little sparkle, a little oomph. And let's see, which side do I want to be the front? I think I want this side to be the front so I have to make sure I punch my holes on the correct edge. Okay, so that's punched. Let's put this back in the back. And I'm not sure. I think I want to put this towards the middle of the book. Well, let's just put it here. Okay. Don't want it really necessarily all the way in the back. But I can use this to put sticky notes on or just as decoration. Um, I was thinking I might put my name on it. I don't know. So and then I'm going to go ahead and put my pocket back in and I'll put that in front of this back dashboard. And let's see what we have so far. Okay. So that is all my dashboards and tab dividers. I have not done the labels for the tabs. However, I did cut I cut them like sticker flakes instead of kiss cut. Some labels to put on the front of my tab dividers. Now I'm not sure that I'm going to use all of these. I do want to have contacts in here. I want this to kind of just be a general notebook, not necessarily a planner, just the whole household information. And so. I'm going to have definitely a contact section. So I'm going to put that there. And I know I'm going to have a calendar. I doubt I will have. Let's see if I can. And I can always come back later and peel these up with some. I haven't actually tried this yet. Undo. I got it from Michaels with a coupon, of course. But yeah, I was thinking since I'm doing the stickers, and that way these can be more versatile. I can use them for something else later instead of putting it under the laminate. It just made sense to me. So I'm going to have a calendar here. I think I'll definitely have some lists. And I think I'm going to leave the rest as is. I'm going to save these in case I want to use them later. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in my little pocket here. For use later. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick this pocket down in that pocket there. I'm going to put these behind there since they don't match the color scheme but I want to keep them in here I'm just going to tuck them behind as well I'll go ahead and tuck this in in case I want to use it for something else later Oops. 
and I'm going to do like Liz for a day probably and add these sticky notes throughout in case I need them. So let's just put a little extra sticky on the back. Just put a few here. And this worked out great. They actually go with the color scheme that I'm using. I'm going to do some for the calendar. And I think that's it. Then I'll just leave the rest in the front. Okay. So I'm going to leave these up here. Just tuck them in. Okay, now I have also this skull that I really want to use somewhere, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to work with it in this setup. Or maybe I can remove these and stick it in this pocket. I think he works good there. And then I can add a pocket somewhere else. I'll show you. I'm just going to add a top target dollar spot pocket right there and then so this is what they look like they come on this little piece of paper and you just peel it off the adhesive it's on there just make sure you have your opening where you want it to be and I'm just gonna line this up I'm gonna just continue with putting it on the bottom edge so I'm just going to line it up to my left edge and stick it down. Now, if you don't have access to a Target or cannot find these pockets, they, um, they come and go so quickly. I do have a video up to show you how you can make your own self-adhesive clear pocket using laminate. And I will link that video here so you can go and check that out. So I'm going to just go ahead and stick some of my other kooky... Halloween related stuff here. I saw this graphic and really liked it so I laminated her. I knew I wanted to put her in here even though she doesn't really go with the look. It's okay. I want her in here. So I'm going to put my cat in here and then I had another here we go. This pumpkin I don't know if they're all going to fit. doesn't look like it. So I may just put the pumpkin and the cat here and we'll put her somewhere else. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And I will stick her here. And again, I can just put a little removable adhesive on her and stick her on the dashboard on the divider. And then I think I'm going to put my name across her as well. At an angle. I think that's really cute worked out great okay and this is all just decor decoration it's nothing major and last but not least I have this black jack-o-lantern I don't know where I want to put him I think he can go here or here or how about we just stick him in the pocket along with these two tabs that I created and wasn't sure how I would use them. I just laminated them. Put I put two of these flags back to back and laminated. So I'm not sure how I want to use those. I could, nope, that won't work. So I'm just going to pop these in here for future use. as well as my little K 
Kate Spade die cut. And let's stick our pumpkin right there. I'm going to put a little adhesive on him just so he doesn't fall down into the pocket. Okay. So then anything that I put in this pocket can just go over the top of that. I'm going to stick these um, Project Life cards that I pulled out in here just in case I need them later. Let's see. Okay. And then I made this uh, to use kind of as a page mark. So I left a little excess, about a half an inch, extra laminate on it and I'm going to punch my holes in that part of it so that this piece sticks up and I can label that at any time with whatever I want and I'll show you more in just a second let me punch these holes so this is kind of like just a page mark a bookmark page mark I didn't do anything fancy um, and I'm just going to stick this in here in the middle of the book for now so you see the top tab hangs over so that you can just go right to that section as well label it however you choose so now I'm going to start adding my inserts for the contacts I'm going to leave that blank because I'll be designing a, an insert for that specifically. For this section is calendars. So I have these two 2017 full year calendars. This one is just like a year at a glance where you can make notes underneath each month. Like you can use it for goals or whatever the case may be. Oops. So let's put that in for calendars. And I did not print these double sided. And this is just a kind of a notes section. You can use this for future planning. So, and both of these are available on my website. And there will be a 2018 coming. Okay, now I have this week on two pages and the monthly calendar insert. It's a dated insert. From, it runs from October through the end of December. It has a few note pages in the back. You may have seen this in my all about personal size binders and traveler's notebooks video. Um, you can check that out. I'll leave a link for that as well. And so I'm going to add these to my calendar section. And this will take me through the end of the year in this planner. And lists I am a lister so I'm going to add a few pages of grid paper for listing and then I may come back and do an actual list insert later and then this one I'm not I don't have anything specific for so I'm just going to go ahead and put this dot grid paper in this section this one I am going to put something specifically for me that is not necessarily home related and that is this movie watch list. This is the time of the year when a lot of the good movies are coming out. So I kind of want to make sure that I don't miss any of the ones that I want to see. And I know one main one that I definitely want to see is Murder on the Orient Express. So I will definitely be adding that to the list. And then the only other thing I have is these black papers. And if you saw my spread, a recent spread, I like to play around with blackout planning. So these pages will just be in here for me to play around with, goof off with. And that is everything that I'm going to put in this planner. It's not a lot as far as inserts go. I can, since I do like the blackout planning, on the pages that I did not put these sticky notes, I'm going to go back in and put some of these black post-its 
so that I can have a little fun with those as well in this planner. And I don't know if they're still selling these. I got these on clearance at Target. Oh, that one's not sticking. So, I don't know. I think that's enough of those as well. Okay. So, we're starting to get our full filled up. I'm going to stick these in the back pocket just so I'll have them. I bought those specifically to work with this binder so I'm going to leave them in there. And last but not least we're going to finish decorating our front pocket. I'm going to put my clips back in. I think I'm going to put my spider on the first page here. I don't know how my bows are going to, my poofs are going to go. I think I'm only going to use this shorter one in here. And I'm not going to put this one in or this one. I'm just going to put this other one in here because I think I have enough clips if I need them. And I think that's it. Still glitter everywhere. But, yep, that is it. It is all set up. Don't forget to head over to Liz for a day and see what she came up with for her personal size black Michaels Recollections planner and how she used the Haunted Hollow paper pad. Please comment below, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.